guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm doing another three looks one palette this time with the huda beauty electric obsessions palette now this palette costs 27 dollars and you do get nine shades in here as the title says all of the colors are electric and bright and fun and looking at this palette i really felt inspired and i really wanted to get more into color and color stories so that's why i picked this up this was actually the first huda beauty product that i ever tried out because i didn't exactly want to take the plunge to try one of the larger palettes because they run at around like 65 dollars each so i picked up this one and i also had the smoky palette personally i found myself gravitating towards this one more and i really just wanted to play around you have a nice mix of colors in here and you can create full looks out of just this palette which i wanted to show you in this video in one of the looks i did bring in like a glitter from out just so to show how you could throw in some other pops of color so the look that i'm wearing right now it's all from this palette it is five shades from the palette and it's look number three so if you want to see this one hold out to the end but I really wanted to do one look with the warm colors, the orange, the yellow, and the red. I wanted to do one look with the, the pink and the purples right here. And I threw in blue in the lower lash line. And then I did one look with just the blues. And it really is amazing, like, the variety of looks you can get from this palette. So before we jump into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see any more three looks, one palette in the future. And don't forget to subscribe so you catch any of my future videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into look number one. Welcome to look number one, guys. So the first color that I'm taking is the bright yellow in the center of the palette. And I'm taking a big fluffy brush and building this up throughout my crease and transition. Now this color does take a bit of building up so I just keep dipping in and blending, blending, blending. You can also go in with a smaller blending brush if you want to get it a little bit more precise but for what I wanted out of it I wanted to use a big fluffy brush to make it nice and diffused. Once I've built that color up as much as I would like it, I'm taking the orange color in the palette and I'm taking this on a smaller brush and first I'm patting it onto the outer third of the lid and then blending it in. I'm bringing it up into the crease as well, not as high as I'm bringing up the yellow, but blending it in because I'm going for like a sunset effect. Once I have that blended out, I'm taking the red shade from the palette and I'm doing the same thing with that same smaller brush from before, bringing it further in on the lid, just patting the color in and then blending it up. Again, I'm not taking this as high as I brought the orange, but I am trying to blend everything together. Once that is all blended out, this isn't necessary, but I'm taking a Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Rose Gold Retro, and I'm just applying this onto the inner half of the lid. Next, I'm going back in with the orange shade for the lower lash line. I threw on some winged liner and mascara, no falsies for today. And that's the finished look. Really enjoyed this look. The only thing that I found lacking in this palette was a shimmer in one of those three colors. I felt like that would have really rounded out the palette. Welcome to look number two. 
For this look, I'm also starting out with the yellow shade in the middle of the palette, and taking a medium-sized fluffy brush, I am building this up in my crease and transition. Once I've built this up to a reasonable amount, I'm jumping in with the dark teal in the bottom of the palette, and I'm taking this on an Sigma E25, and using the same technique as the previous look, I am patting the color in first on the outer third of the lid, and then blending it in. then taking that same fluffy brush from before and blending the two colors in. I did get a lot of fallout from the blue shade, so just keep an eye out for that. Next, I'm taking a glitter glue. I'm placing this all over the inner half of my lid. Then I'm going in with the bright blue shade from the bottom of the palette, and I'm placing this all over on top of the glue. And just do it on the other side and then throw on some liner and some mascara before going back in with that dark matte teal for the lower lash line. And that's the look. I love how simple and quick this was. It was only three shades in the palette and you get a really nice, almost mermaid look to it. Welcome to our third and final look. So I'm taking a big fluffy brush and the light purple color and I am bringing this up into my transition and crease. Once that is all blended out, I am taking the light pink from the middle of the palette on that same brush and I'm blending that into the purple. Once that is all blended, I'm taking some glitter glue from NYX and the light purple glitter from the middle of the palette, putting this all over my lid. Next, I'm going into some false lashes for this and my normal liners. And thanks to the magic of editing, there they are. For the lower lash line, I'm taking the two teal shades from the bottom of the palette, both the matte and the shimmer, to add an extra pop of color. I'm mainly focusing the matte darker shade on the outer third while I'm bringing the shimmer shade all the way in. And that is our third and final look. my three looks one palette with the Huda Beauty electric obsessions which one was your favorite look let me know in the comments below and if you want to see any more of these videos in the future don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video and let me know down below what palette you want to see next thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video bye